Alright guys, welcome back to another Transfer Daily and finally, finally guys, it looks like we're going to be making that uh, a sign-in which will be a striker and yes guys, it's not a 30-year-old striker, it's actually a 25-year-old striker. Now, if you haven't heard, which I'm sure most of you have, um, Kenneth Zahor from Cardiff is very close to completing a move to West Brom. Now he is 25 years of age, um, so pretty much mid-age for a striker to be honest with you. Still a lot of time to grow. Now I do believe the fee to be in the region of £8 million, um, which I'm hearing from Sky Sports and all the other sources what have said Zahor will be coming to the uh, to us he's six foot two so he does have a bit of an aerial threat he's really strong um i, I have saw him play to be honest with you and he's, he's got quite a bit of pace for someone so big um when he did when cardiff did get promoted um he played 36 games nine goals and he got five assists now to me that's pretty average but it is going to be the prices you're going to be paying for a 25 year old um who's half decent in the championship, especially with today's prices. It didn't really work out for him last season, saying that. Um, he played 19 games in the Premier League, scored one goal and got one assist. Now, you could say that was due to Cardiff being really poor, because you you did see players like Bobby Reid not really performing to the standards they did in the championship. But I, ha I am really excited about this one, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you think about that. Um, obviously, I don't think this will be the... Um, the end of us signing a striker, as I do feel like we need one or two more. Um, you know, we've lost Rodriguez, we've lost Gale, um, we've got 50 goals to compensate for, and I know that is a bit tricky to do, but I do feel like Kenneth Zahor is a step in the right direction for us. Hopefully we can bring someone in who's a bit more proven. Um, obviously, Dwight Gale's probably not going to happen, but... It's a bit unfortunate, but we just got to live with that. Um, but I'm just happy that the club are actually putting some money about. That being said, Solomon Rondon, um, very close to his move to Dalian Yufang. Apparently, he's been meeting with their officials over in China, and he's really close to agreeing a deal. Apparently, he'll be on £150,000 a week. And to be honest, for a 29-year-old, near enough at the end of his career, he's going to go, isn't he? Um you know, he could literally retire after a year's worth of payments in that lead. It's ridiculous how much money they're paying. Um, I remember Graziano Pelle who went to a Chinese Super League team and I believe he was getting like £200,000 a week. Just why wouldn't you? Uh, but yeah, Rafa Benitez has been keen on taking Rondon back. Um, he did spend the, major well, the whole of last season with Rafa Benitez. And I do think that even if Rafa Benitez was still at Newcastle, I do think that he would have targeted Rondon. So I feel like it's a good move for us. He didn't want to play for us. Um, I have heard that the release clause wasn't met of £16.5 million. I feel like the fee was around probably £15 million or £14 million. Who knows? But another transfer rumour, guys. Apparently West Brom have approached um, Sporting Lisbon for Mateus Pereira. Now, he is a 23-year-old right winger. I do feel like we need to add a bit more youth to our team. And I think getting him will be heading in the step, the right direction. Um, he was on loan at Bundesliga team Nuremberg last season where he played 19 games. He scored three goals and got two assists. Like I say, he's only 23 years of age. Uh, Brazilian. Um, you know, players like him who are like foreign usually add a lot of flair. Um, I have heard he's got a lot of pace, but we'll see what happens with that one, guys. Um, it will be a loan deal, if anything. Um, hopefully, we can get something like that over the line. I do believe in uh, Bilic. I feel like he will bring in the right players who he wants. And that being said, there is a rumour for an outgoing. Alan Neon potentially leaving. He did spend... His time last season pretty much on loan to Laganos in La Liga. He played 23 matches, scored one goal and got one assist. Now there, in, there is interest from Getafe. Um, to be honest guys, I'm not sure that I'd actually sell him because you know, we already need a right back um, as we lost Holgate and we lost Dawson who could play there. We, could, we lost Tossin who could play there. And I feel like if we do sell him, we will need two right backs. So he could potentially be... A bit of backup for whoever comes in at the main right 
back position. Now I was a bit frustrated that we didn't sign Sam Byram for 750,000. I thought that was an absolute bargain for someone so young. But it does look like Getafe are interested. I'm not too sure on the fee. Um, but like I say, we'll see what happens with that one, guys. Um, I'm just really happy that the club are actually listening to us now. Actually going in for people. I know there are only rumours, some of them, but there was literally none of that the other day. Uh, but now it seems like the sale of Solomon Rondon will really spark to life our transfer window. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.